welcome to episode 6 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. As a recap, we are in 22nd place. Even though there's doom and gloom, there's a lot of hope in the heart. I'm recalling all the scouts. And before we play this first game, let's see what the board have in store for us this episode. Jamie, take it away. Hi, Wes. There's growing disparity between the left and right side of our front four. Fans love the Garner gang on the right, but growing impatient with the player on the opposite flank. Novak is running out of time. He needs to show his worth today with three goal contributions or else we're transfer listing him. Any offers 20% above his valuation will be accepted. I'm not really surprised that the fans have started to lose patience on Pavel Novak. We are seeing way more production off the right-hand side, definitely. And this guy, looking at his stats, he's got 78 pace. That's a decent amount for this level. He should be causing defences a little bit of trouble, at least. Three goal contributions. I'll be trying to play him every single minute that I can. Bradford City against Stockport County. Even though he's been extremely disappointing outside of episode two, it's not nice to lose a player this early on, especially when the numbers are so small to begin with. All right then, kick off in the first game, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go and subscribe to the channel. We've just passed 80,000 subscribers. Yeah! See? Give us a golf clap. I'm playing this through the afternoons and then pro clubs during the night time. And because of the difference in the quality of the playoff, it's like... Almost trying to learn two different games. It's good. It keeps me on my toes. I feel like we're already seeing the big, big game for Novak. Bradford City look there to be had. <laughs> it's going to go out for a corner kick. I nearly played myself into trouble. Where's Novak in all of this? Oh, he's there! Oh, my goodness. How have you not scored that? That was totally set up for your pal. And then on the break, we've conceded. Fantastic! Honestly, you're not doing yourself any favours. Johnson underneath it. Buster Mante keeps it alive. Yes! Juicy John! 1-1! One, one. The line is so high up. We don't help ourselves. This lad, we know he's quick. He's been quick for years. What's our depth at? 60? Put that down to 25. Play some smart football. Come on. It's just pain. We can't have anything good in this world. For goodness sake, lads, keep this at one. Oh, what a ball that is. Lovely hand by Lopez. The game's crashed. This would be a perfect opportunity for me to say the line. Incubus, a demon believed to have sex with sleeping women. That sounds disgusting. I'm here reading the English dictionary. This is a riveting read. We shall pause this for a second because I need to tell you that FIFA 23 is a flawless game that cannot be critiqued in any way, shape or form. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. FIFA 23 is perfect in every way. Put the gun down now. What a lifeline for me, for Stockport, for Pavel Novak. Deja vu, it's Bradford City against Stockport County. Keep the winger occupied. That's where they're going to try and go every single time. Willems needs to be aware of it. Keeps it in play. Yeah, we've won the goal kick. Novak will not be the only player that the fans lose patience with if results stay the same. I mean, Willems is very much on the chopping block. It's Novak cutting inside. There's the ball. Guerra, score, lads. Yes! Assist number one. Goal contribution number one. Guerra life. That's shocking midfield play. Oh my goodness, it's even worse defensively. I've just watched a horror show. Pearson decides to run away from the ball in midfield and then, well, I mean, our centre-backs might as well not be there. That is stunning. They're going to score again. Good save, Lopez. They'll be playing it short from the corner kick. Man, it would have been great to just hold that lead for a little bit. Shimon to clear. I don't know if a floater was the right idea there. Oh my goodness. What can you do when they're making assists like that? The difficulty's been like ramped up to 11. Every single mistake I make is going to be punished. Oh, here we go. 3-1 Bradford. We've gone from a space of hope to desperation. Yes, we'll take it. That's an assist. I'm taking the assist. So no go on goal. Does either team want to defend here? Probably not. Onside, Guerra. Woo. The Garner gang link up on the right hand side to Novak. Oh, it's 
Oh no! That wasn't supposed to be a pass across for Geroth. Turned out to be a huge opportunity to equalize. Go on, Pavel! Get it across! Score! That's it! He's already got the three goal contributions! It's Juicy John for 3-3 three, three, and Pavel Novak is safe! What a performance by the left winger! That is what we wanted to see! Some response that! 3-3 three, three, and a game to win with 20 minutes to go! Come on the Hatters! Stockport are alive and kicking. Johnson wins the ball. Do not concede straight away. Oh, for goodness sake. It's gonna be sent across with a block by Bustamante. The Colonel gets involved as well. Juicy John, just clear the thing. The 90 minutes are up and it's 3-3. Three, three. What a comeback. That's character. And no pressure on our left winger to keep on finding goals or making assists through this episode. We can just work as a team. Seven games without a win now. But that point feels like a victory. It feels like the road to recovery. And up next is an FA Cup fixture that we can completely ignore. We shall quick sim and get knocked out of. We've been drawn at home against Lincoln City. And we're through. Pearson got sent off though. That's definitely a domestic ban. He'll be missing the League 2 game against Stevenage. I've decided to relocate all the scouts so we can move and search different countries. We're off to Wales, Canada, and New Zealand. This is not a match where you want the suspended player. Energy levels are extremely low. It's Stockport County against the fully fit Stevenage. Do they have bigger squad depth? Oh, the feet by Gerrard. Oh, that's stuff you love to see. These look the same as Bradford City. It's Gerrard! Too close to the goalkeeper, he spread himself out well. David Amu against the Colonel. There is one winner in that battle. David Amu, like an icon of mine, through one of my football manager saves, he was our chief scout, and he was fantastic at his job. He's on, he's on, he's on. Come on, Novak! Pavel Novak! He's so confident! It's just a square ball across to Juicy John! And he's got four goal contributions! The life that we sprung into the player! And no look goal from Juicy John. It was easy to finish though. Johnson just holds it inside Juicy John midfield now. Can start stretching. And that is Gera! He's got a score! I think the game's just deciding to keep me grounded because if I get a two goal lead, I might have a nosebleed. Gera! What a save by Chapman! They don't have the outrageous speed that the other teams have been possessing, but they have passes like that in the locker. It's David Amu! Now we've kicked off wondering where the chances have gone, how they've been squandered. I mean, Pavel Novak might go himself for you. Come on, Pavel! Cut inside! Oh! List trying to shrug off Buster Manze defence! It's difficult to even process that if I don't get any help from the players behind me, why do I mark with Bustamante in the first place? I might as well just let him go straight through. Go on, spin, spin. Good ball spin. It'll be Reyna. He has to... S oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, Bustamante, I would feel like that as well. I'm just shaking my head. I mean, the chances were one thing, but that second goal from Stevenage, if our defenders had any brain power whatsoever had any understanding of tracking the runner, it doesn't happen, does it? This is a battle at the bottom. It's Stockport and crew, 23rd and 24th. Hey, at least we got some energy for this one. Pearson's back. We're taking out Willems, and we'll go like that. Rush to him, rush to him. Yes, Colonel Sanders. Can he make an attack? Oh, it's a ball. The redemption arc. It's Juicy John off the crossbar. Brilliant by Sanders. Garrett into Novak. He'll drive. Oh, go on! Novak pulls the shot. I think we're all realizing what a mistake it would have been to, to sell him. Perceptions can be changed very quickly at the start of a Youth Squad Legends series. Sanders intercepts. Crew could have broken us, broken our hearts there. Novak, ball inside. It's well weighted to Geron, and that is not good enough. It's simply not good enough, that Ramon. Frustrations are not creating chances. In the last episode have only been replaced by now not being able to take those chances. Juicy John wants to get into the box. Good guarding of the ball. Edge of the box now here for Gallagher. One pass. Gerrard! He's missed! Oh my goodness! 
You're off the pitch. I'm sorry. That's one too many. With the increased shot error, I know it's difficult for these lads to score, but it doesn't mean that we can't score altogether. Look at Juicy John. He has a decent scoring record still because he's a good striker. A draw doesn't help either team. Can't poke it away to Pearson. Crew now have a chance of winning the game, but it's a bad touch and Buster Mante will pounce. How has Sheeman found himself into this area? I'm trying to square it back to Juicy John! That's it, lads! That's it! We've won the game! Yes! The scenes were cut short. I, I accidentally pressed the X button because I was going a bit mental. Three points to Stockport. It's full time! Oh! Get in there. A Conquo beaten the Arsenal youth player. Not the Mikel Conquo. Juicy John gets a proper chance, a proper snap at goal. And he goes, well, through the legs of the goalkeeper. Massive, massive win. The confidence after that. Rhythm is a dancer. Juicy John's the answer. Let me sniff that ginger hair. The mood has lifted in the post-match press conference. Wesley Martina, poker face, but I know that inside he is chuffed. There's a risk of losing three players on the end of their contract. They're all real players. Ryan Crowsdale, Ryan Johnson, and Ben Hinchcliffe. The final game of the episode, it's Stockport County against Leighton Orient. If you have yourself some spare time, there's a couple of FIFA series that I will highly recommend. Sparring DK, he's doing a similar series with 1860 Munich. So a bit of German action. But then there's also a smaller creator called JJ Loza, who was there when I had the accident in June. His presence, everybody's presence that night when I was really hurting meant a lot and it would mean a lot to me if you went and checked out his series. I'll put both links down in the description and I'm sure you'll enjoy what you watch, what you see. Here comes the key pop. Well done Lopez. Leighton Orient do have a better side but even though we got backs to the wall it's amazing what a win can do for you. See these better teams don't really give us the opportunity to exploit the outsides, to make use of the wingers that we've got. You're then having to force the ball through the middle, which is super difficult with the players at my disposal. Buster Mante has been outrageously good today, lads. What would I do without him? We'd be conceding like eight, nine a game. Oh, and Lopez chips in with his fair share of big moments. That'll be another point on the board. Not just positive steps that we've seen this episode, it's strides of confidence forward. We're occupying a relegation spot, but that has to be the best that we've seen this team play. Let's see what comments you've got lined up for me. Carlo Stanko says is the positional Swiss army knife. Not really, mate. He's one of the worst players that we've got. He's more like a positional Swiss cheese. Brian McLean, this series goes hard. Good stuff, mate. It's been such a positive start in terms of like the messages the interaction and it is that stuff that gives me the motivation to crack on i am knackered i know that but when it comes to recording time i'm buzzing if anyone's got any tips or tricks to keep the voice in tip-top condition please get it down in the comment section i'd love to read it keelan has suggested a nickname for cook the cookinator mm. love this series cutsy what are your camera settings i am all for the classic camera now i used to have it on tele broadcast i don't know when i changed it but i do know that fifa 22 and fifa 23 i have been rocking the classic camera santiago is back with the eggs and i'll leave you on this one alex boa this series really busts my mante there is a line somewhere and maybe you guys have already crossed it i don't know this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode of you squad legends if you've enjoyed the video please give the video a like if you're not subscribed around here yet then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications what an amazing day it was results wise that was exactly what stockport county needed big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on patreon financially without your help i would not be able to do this full time so if you've got a bit of spare money around and you want to support the channel a little bit further patreon is the way to go like i said in the video please go and check out the creators that i've linked down in the description dk and loza great people great friends and i would love their series to do well all right guys you take care see you next time bye bye